Hi, I'm Heather from Paint the Real Fiber Arts, and today is Monday in our PJs Yarn Chat Podcast. Hi everyone, I hope you have all had an awesome, wonderful weekend and everything. My weekend would have been better if I wasn't sick, and that's why I ended up not making a video on Friday into Saturday into Sunday, and I says, okay, I'll just make a video today, which is Tuesday instead of Monday because I just was busy on Monday and I'm finally feeling better and up to making a video. So I'm super excited to show you the um, groomies that I ended up making. Uh, I ended up making a couple of them, not a lot, but I ended up making a few, so, and here they are. Um, these are two little mini amigurumi octopuses that I made. I've talked about the octopuses before, but in case you're new to the channel and haven't um, heard me talk about them before, I am going to talk about them a little bit. Um, this is made with, uh, it's called Bright, I think is the colorway, and it's uh, Hobby Lobby's yarn. It's I love this cotton. It's a worsted weight yarn, 100% cotton yarn. It makes really great amigurumis. I really liked working with it. it. I love the rainbow. I like the how it color fades nicely. It also made the bottom look different than the top, which I really liked, and it made the mouth look so cute and adorable. Oh boy. And it's so soft and so great, and I really love it. I can't wait to make more things with it. Um, this one has black safety, sa uh, six millimeter uh, safety eyes from 60 60 Eyes, which is just an Etsy shop that I buy black safety eyes from. I buy, um, I even buy some hand painted eyes from them. They make hand painted eyes. They make. Uh, non-hand-painted uh, non eyes, not hand-painted, non-hand-painted -hand eyes. They don't make the eyes, but they have them, and that's their, what their shop's all about. It's just the uh, black safety eyes or the hand-painted eyes. They also have some other various things, but those are the main things. Like, they have noses. They have all kinds of stuff, but those are mostly the two main items that they sell, which are either hand-painted or non-hand-painted eyeballs, and they are really great. They're safety eyes they have lots of different backs and they are excellent shop uh, if you're just buying for like if you're not buying in bulk that's definitely the place to go i haven't found the bulk place yet but i am looking for one because i go through so many eyeballs that i just want to buy it in bulk and not have to worry about keep re-upping 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 there you go but anyways i am super excited and happy to um show you these i am going to put a link to the 6060 eyes down below in case you're interested in ever buying some eyeballs and don't know where to go for the safety eyes it is anyways uh, that's the rainbow ones info that i'm going to tell you about and then this one is the um green one and then it's yellow and this is done with paint box yarn 100 percent uh cotton yarn and dk weight it is a very nice soft wonderful yarn it's a little lighter than a normal dk it's not super thick but it's not super thin either. So it makes really great amigurumis. They come out really nice and sturdy and awesome. And this is black six millimeter, six millimeter safety eyes from the 6060 eyes always. And I did put a mouth on it, even though you can barely see it, but it just blends in cause it's green. I probably should have did it yellow, but I just thought green matched at the time. But then afterwards I was like, Ooh, I wish I did it yellow. I'm going to be making a lot of these and putting them in my shop and I, can't wait to have them in all rainbows of everything but uh for now these are the ones that i got and uh that's and have made so far i ended up making these a little different than the pattern the pattern pretty much just tells you to just do i'll show you with this one they just tell you to do single crochets work in the round increase decrease then they tell you to work in the back loop and then do your decreases and then you um, slip stitch it, um, whip stitch it, not slip stitch, whip stitch it shut. Then you create the bottom, which is just single crochets working in the round and you just go around and around until it's the size that you want. And then you do the, um, legs is the way I do it. So the bottom is a separate piece, but I, in the pattern, they want the little legs to be attached to the, um, to the little, uh, stitch that sticks out from working in the back loop. I think that it's better to just sew into that and create this so that it's like seamless and it looks really nice, super cute, and the legs look a little longer and less crunched up and it lays super fat. The other plus side to it is it doesn't wobble, not just that it doesn't wobble and lays flat, but the bottom part, if you're not good at showing that and you're a newbie, because this is a great for newbie, I mean, groomy makers, um, then 
then the little bottom thing might not be as smooth. So if you want to cover it up, this is a great way. You don't have to worry about stuffing ever coming out of that because you have another layer there. And unless this piece falls off, then there's nothing bad is going to happen. It's a lot better for durability, I think, too. And it, were, and it just works out way better, I think. And I just like that seamless thing. It's great. It's like, where did those legs come from? If you're not, if you're not an Ami Groom maker or like somebody that's never ever crocheted in their life, you're like, what is, where is it? Where is it? What, how did that happen? It looks like a stuffed animal, like totally one piece, magic. And if you're a kid, you're like, don't even care about that stuff. So, <laughs> anyways, but anyways, I, you do that, and then the for the mouth, you just do single crochet. You work in the round, and then you and then you just stitch it on to the front. It has a special name, I guess, but I just call it super cute little sucky thing. It looks like they're kissing, like like they like they love each other, or like they just are eating something like like an octopus would do, even though they just have tentacles and eat from underneath. But <laughs> it just makes them cuter, <laughs> I think so awesome and you can do fun pictures and scenes with them then with with like them doing little things with their with their things or children can play with them and make them do things it's so cool <laughs> and even adults can play with them <laughs> it's awesome i love it and i'm going to be making a lot of these they are currently in my online essay shop if you're interested in buying one for me and don't want to don't have the time or don't want to or don't know how to crochet or just don't want to and you want to buy one you can at my shop anytime they're also going to be the free item with every item that you buy from my shop in the month of april they have been in the past the free item and now i changed it to the star buddy for this month and the last few months but next month is going to be the octopuses again because i've been making so many of them it I uh, just have so many to give away and they are free one free with every order for the month of April they're going to be and then uh, for the star buddy is one free with every order uh, for the month of March and that's some of the good stuff about my shop the next thing that I'm going to show you oh and also this was one of the first things I ever made with amigurumis besides this like cupcake kind of things and the ones with the curly tentacles that are a little bigger so I highly suggest that for beginners, I'm going to put the link down below where you get the pattern. All of her designs that she makes, this um, pattern maker, pattern design maker, crochet artist, she, um, every single one of her patterns are really well written. She gives really good photos and pretty simple to make. And I highly suggest them for beginners or people looking into amigurumis because that's just a really, really good way of doing it. it doesn't require a lot of sewing or any sewing, if you decide not to make the piece like I did. The second piece, just sewing on the mouth. That's, and sewing it shut, that's like hardly any without me grooming, which is awesome. And then this one's just sewing two pieces, which is another awesome beginner one. That's why I like, you don't have to do sprinkles like I did. I just love the sprinkles because I think every cupcake serves sprinkles. But anyways, this is made with Paintbox yarn, 100% DK, 100% cotton yarn and DK weight. This is blush pink. This is coffee, coffee brown, um, coffee bean brown. I forgot to say the color of this one. This is uh, butternut uh, yellow or butter squash I don't, sun yellow. I don't know. It's, it's their yellow and this one's grass green. Then I just decked out the top with just multicolored embroidery floss from the, from the local craft store because I love rainbow sprinkles on cupcakes so I figured why not put it on there. It's great because my birthday just was celebrated and the kitty's birthday is next month so perfect time to whip out some cupcakes. For, and cupcakes are good all year round, even if it's not for a birthday celebration or any celebration. I think they're delicious all year round. Anyways, um, the face that I was trying to focus on is black six millimeter uh, safety eyes. The lips are pink embroidery floss and the cheeks are just dark blue uh, hand, uh, that I hand stitched on to make it look more quiet. And I thought it was super cute, super adorable, and I just really liked making this pattern. It's pretty easy to make. You make first, you make this one, which you just do the bottom piece, which you just do single crochet until you get X amount. Then you need to work in the back loop. Then you do X amount of going around, so you get the height. Then you, um, I accidentally left the brown string for the sewing later, but I suggest using the top piece so then it's more blended. And then I just. Uh, did the top piece was just increase 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 uh, around and around and then you work around and around and single crochets and then you do for this little part you just do um 
Just like with the octopus, the octopus was uh, double crochets and slip stitches. I forgot to say that. This one is uh, double crochets and slip stitches as well, but you're making the little cute shells around and you do them X amount and you're making cute little shells for the cute little ruffle thing around the top part of the frosting that I think is super cute. You can lift this up and see the face a little better, which is so cool for photos and stuff, or you can put it down and give it a nice little normal look. <laughs> I think it's super fun, super easy to make. Uh, oh yeah, and you just whip stitch it shut at the very end and stuff it after you put your eyes on and face. It just is easier to hide the little knots, even though you can put the face on after, but I just say before is always better. I really love doing this. It's super fun. It makes a nice squishy toy. It's great and adorable and anybody with uh, that once again army groomies is a great great one to use I'll put the link down below this cupcake pattern that I've used before and currently made and the link in the description box down below I also put a link to this one which is the dumpling candy I made another one I had to make another one after last one I want to make more they are so cute this one I gave a rainbow tip on its tail because I just thought that was a cute little added bonus of putting a little bit of um, so this yarn is rainbow yarn it's uh, in one of the rainbow colorways from expression fiber arts it is 100% uh, merino wool in their sock weight which is a fingering weight I mean sock yarn fingering weight sorry yarn the other colors this brown is coffee bean and this one is blush pink that I used again which is the paint box yarn 100% cotton yarn DK weight and then I just did it worked in the round by first made one ear then I chained out then I did the other year then you go around and around and around but you do the little first few rounds in one side and then the other side you create and then you connect them and then you go around and around and around just increasing and doing color change if you want stripes or you can do non stripes or you can just do it one year one color like I want to do for the next kitty or you can just do some spotting kind of thing like I'm planning on doing for the next kitty and then you just create the whole piece thing and you put the eyes on which I used eight millimeter black safety eyes from 60 60 eyes I hand embroidered the face on with pink embroidery floss from the local craft store I did these by just working in the round and just do X amount round and round actually and then I sewed it shut and then I sewed it on so that way you just flip up a little or hold it down flat it's super cute and adorable and the pattern is really well written it has great pictures it tells you exactly how to do everything which is super cool as for the bottom, I did it. It's just like a coaster, but then you do a little bit different beginnings on some of the rows. You just do increase, decrease, I mean, just increase, increase, and you just work around and around and you get the part and you sew it on. So it's a great way to stuff it and sew it on without having to work, work around and figure out how to shut it and <laughs> stuff. It's great. Two single pieces just going together. It's great, great, great. Um, and then you so after you sew the hands on and stuff at the end, after you stuff it and sew it on and you sew the tail on and the tails just just do color change or to make it striped or you do with X amount of rows and you just do single crochet around and around and you make the length and if you t do it loose enough it will have a little curl to it I didn't do it quite loose enough so I kind of did it that way or you stick a pipe cleaner in it can be extra flexible and extra fun for it, all ages it's great and fun to do I love the tail <laughs> I always do on things so um, this was so fun to do and I will be making a lot more front back side and tail. Ah. So those are it for finished projects. Um, today I'm going to be working on, it's kind of like an egg shaped toy for the kitties. It's in the, it's this um, aqua blue color. It's by Sheep Jeezy's Blue yarn. I made this toy before for them and they loved it and they haven't managed to shred pieces and it's a year old and one of my kitties attacks her toy so bad that all the it always falls apart and then she meows about it and gets sad so <laughs> like I have to like wanting me to fix it kind of like a regular human it's pretty interesting but anyways I like this yarn because once you have it crocheted together it has little like um little like uh I guess you would say little chingy things that like each other so then it makes a nice sturdy um groomy piece it also makes like sturdy a few regular working things i need to figure out some more projects with it because it's it's merchandise cotton so it has a little shine to it it's a little thicker 
it's in between like DK and finger weight. So it's a little thicker than finger weight, but a little thinner than DK. So it's kind of hard to figure out um, due to how it looks once it's worked up, what to make with it. But I think about making like uh, a bath mat with it and putting some stuff on it like I've seen people make with it. And uh, I think I'm going to do my own little design with it and put some stuff on it so it doesn't slide or put like a rubber mat thingy under it so it doesn't slide everywhere and it's, it'll be nice bath mat because we do need some more bath mats always in our house it's always great to have and make the bathroom look pretty so I'm super excited and if anybody wants to one in my shop eventually those will be in there too this kitty toy will be in there as well uh, currently this kitty isn't up, up in the shop or, or the cupcake but when I make more they're going to be up in the shop as well super excited to add some more fun inventory to my online Etsy store I always love doing that and everything and for this month everything is 10% off as well as with every order you get a free little Amigurumi star buddy and if you're in the US and you buy over $30 you get free shipping and last but not least if you would like to help with a really nice um, nice happy um, donate to a nice cause in a good way and you get something out of it you would get a nice cute little amigurumi orange that you've probably seen on my little on my podcast I'm going to make a video about this but um and pretty much uh 10% you already get 10% off every any everything that you order in the store but then you get um but then 10% of that profit of that orange will go to donate go for me to donate to um the kitty to the shelter that the that my kitties came from so and next month is their birthday so for this month and next month i'm having those little oranges out for anybody that's interested in helping uh, me uh get enough money for this charity event so, which would be so cool and i'm super excited to um be making little um, oranges for that and uh help support the local animal shelter that is really a good shelter for cats and dogs and other animals I guess they get sometimes they get like birds and they get like they get all kinds of pets out here it's surprised when people decide to up and leave they like leave behind so many animals it's kind of sad but at the same time at least the shelter really tries to make them um, find a good home and they're usually real successful with it because a lot of people go over to that shelter to find pets and it's really great to see uh, anyways, uh, so that's what's going on with my online shop and everything. Uh, the things that are going on with me is I just wasn't feeling good over the weekend. I have like a stuffy nose, just felt really yucky and finally feeling better today. So I'm happy about that. The, um, that's the good side. <laughs> the bad thing is we got the termite guy came today and we have all this wood on this front of our house because our house is like was in the 80s made and it's never really had any I think termite inspectors look at it or anything <laughs> but it's had some activity going on for a while even before we moved here two years ago oh, it's gonna be three years ago next month which I'm super excited but uh, at the same time our poor little condo has wood issues and outside and then it has these little holes that go to the attic and sure enough, the termites decided to go inside there and have a termite party with ripping each other's wings off and implanting themselves in our house. So now um, the homeowners have to decide if we're gonna how they're going to treat the problem. I hope they just decide to do something other than tenting because we do have another neighbor next door that's attached to our condo because they're like two condos that are together. We're separate units. Can't really hear each other because she's super quiet and super nice and um she's just a really nice lady and quiet and keeps to herself and we're not loud people so they're not annoying but some of these units have three and four people because we're the bigger kind of condos that are almost like house size well some of these condos have three and four people and we're in the beginning of the street so if they tent us then these termites are going to shoot off into other people's houses and just it'll be a chain effect of just tenting houses 
which I don't think is the ultimate solution. It'd be very costly and it still might not get rid of them because they'll just keep taking turns at everyone's house and having termite parties. So, and I think that the, they should do something else to prevent them making babies, that kind of treatment and other kinds of poisons that you can use before tinting. And I hope the Hono, the homeowner is thinking the same thing, but whatever gets rid of them and doesn't make them come back here is great and doesn't affect the whole neighborhood and just be a constant battle. So it would be all good. And I know it would get taken care of properly. They're very good, the homeowners here, which is a group of people that we pay money for every month. So that way we get um, certain kind of services such as they take care of our water, they help take care of our trash, and they help take care of the streets. They also help take care of if our, the outside of our house gets damaged or the attic or the outside of our garage gets damaged. Some of the stuff outside, obviously like our backyard, doesn't get taken care of because that's up to us because that's our backyard and it's not really a backyard it's just like a sidewalk and then it has an orange tree and some dirt and it just is a bunch of dirt mostly that just collects snails but <laughs> it is nice to barbecue out there and I'm happy about that and we did have a nice wood awning but now I don't think that's a good thing to have because it will probably it's either had it's had I don't know it's, it needs to get replaced and it's I feel the best solution is maybe get rid of it because termites can live in all kinds of stuff out here. But anyways, so yeah, that's the termite adventure and everything and it's not going to be fun to exterminate, but at least they'll get rid of them. Anyways, so that's my one adventure and then tomorrow I have to wake up really early and I have a bunch of things going on more than I thought. So I was planning on doing live stream tomorrow. But I also don't I have to figure out how to set it up a little better so you can see me properly because the tripod I have doesn't want to, um, it could support the iPad, but I don't have the right thingy for it. So I either have to buy one or figure out a better way to video on the iPad. So that way we can chat and see each other. And, and, well, you can see me and I can see your chat going on and not have it not be seen because if I use this camera that I'm using then I can't see the chat even though supposedly you can hook it up to the internet but I don't think I'll be able to see the li like any kind of live chat going on or anything but anyway so that's one of the things um, that we are going to uh, be, wor be um, working on so that way I can do a live stream with all of you and so it says I'm going to be super busy and I have to wake up really early and be super tired. It's best best to do next week on Wednesday. It's definitely going to happen. And uh, the issues with figuring out how to set it up, as long as I'm not sick or anything again, which I don't plan on be, being, then because um, I feel like I'm getting better, so that's a good thing. Then uh, next week on Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., which is... Um, I live in northern San Diego County and California in the U.S. So whatever time that is and where you live is going to be a live stream from me. And if you would like to join me and crochet, knit, or work on whatever fire arts project that you would like to work on together with me, well, I most likely be crocheting up a little amigurumi or some other kind of thing that I'm working on. And we could just hang out together and uh, have a nice little um, hangout session while working on our favorite kind of yarn fiber project, which I'm super excited to uh, do together with all of you, and I can't wait. I've been wanting to do a live stream for a while. I'm excited, and I am ex really, really excited. And I'm always excited to join other live streams, but I'm really excited that I get to do one too and join in on the fun. But anyways, uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. So that will be 7.30 p.m., which is in whatever time zone that you live in. That's 7.30 p.m., which is Northern San Diego County, uh, California, USA time. And that will be next week on Wednesday. So yeah, that's uh, one of the videos going on. I'm also going to have an unboxing for the bunch the February March together for some yarn unboxings because I didn't get around to doing February's I thought I'd just combo them together on one video so I'm not having repetitive videos and so forth then that way um, you get to see two unboxings in one video which is so cool and there's gonna be two two videos of those going on 
one would probably be maybe this week if I get around to it and feel up to it and if not it will end up being next week and I can't wait to get those out for you. I'm also going to be doing my normal podcast on Friday this week and then my normal podcast on Monday next week. I'm going to be adding a walk with me video. The weather is actually quite nice as always but extra nice um, and it's like spring weather out here which is great and I'm sure it's warming up over by you so if you want to join me on a walk with me ever um, and make a video or take a photo of yourself and put it on Instagram or under a paint world five arts hashtag uh, then go ahead and do that and join me that'd be great because the more the merrier I say it with it or if you have a YouTube channel you can make a video and just post on there you can post on Instagram or any of the social me medias of mine which is great and those are all linked down below uh, so yeah I'm excited to get to doing the walk with me I, fortunately lately it's been either raining or I've been busy so that's what's been going on I'm going to be letting all you go but I just wanted to add a couple of things before I, I go and everything um, I will be chatting more with you tomorrow by doing instead of a live stream I'm going to be doing a knit crochet or work on whatever five hour project that you would like to work on together with me video and it will be up tomorrow and then obviously the like I just said the, the Friday video and then I'm going to be doing a walk with me video some in the next day or so so I'm super excited to getting all these videos out for all of you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you would like to leave me any comments, please do in the comments down below. As well as if you would like to uh, join me or follow me on my blog, the link is down below. If you would like to join me on any of my social medias, such as Twitter, Facebook, Blog11, or Instagram, you can by hitting the link down below. If you would like to email me, you can. If you would like to join me on my Robert Lee Podcast group, even though not a lot is going on right now, but there will be soon, uh, you can hit the link down below. If you would like to buy or get anything from my Etsy shop, the link is down below. And if I forgot anything, uh, all the links are down below, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.